so over budget like 100 <laughs> my, okay, wife, okay, actually my wife told me my wife the budget that my wife gave me is like 580 <laughs> <laughs> Hi guys, we are back again today for another video and as you can see today I'm not alone. We have Vince here from Not A Tech Guy and Vince here today is going to build his first ever small form factor PC. Yeah, so as you know, I'm, I'm not a tech guy so <laughs> I, don't, I don't have experience building a PC. That's why I, I need a sensei like Kale Staller um, so to, to help me, uh, guide me to, to build my very own first uh, budget gaming PC. Uh, it's not really a full-fledged gaming PC yet. Um, be, my main objective is actually just to I just want to play back my uh, childhood game from I think 15 years ago uh, so but the game is only available in Windows I only have a MacBook right now so hence I need to build a really really cheap budget PC uh, with Windows so to to play back my, my childhood games lah. so actually I think Vince what was your original budget for this PC my original budget, I think it's around five hundred fifty to six hundred uh sing dollar, yeah. But then, uh, it, it end up. I think I think uh, my bill here is I think is seven hundred dollars in the end. Okay. Okay. By the way, we are using just APU, no no discrete graphic card. Maybe we we'll take a look at some of the parts lah. Let's yeah. Take a look. So first of all, the the uh, AMD five thousand series. <laughs> uh, processor. I thought you say four six five zero. This is a five thousand series. I know actually no, <laughs> because the the previous seller uh he's upgrading to five thousand seven hundred three lah. So he used back the his his box, and then inside is actually four six five zero. I don't know if you can see it. The motherboard. Uh yeah, I got second hand as well. Pretty good. I found is the Astro uh A five two zero M ITX case. And uh, with with uh, AC Wi-Fi in, in built-in like, and also Bluetooth as well. Oh, very convenient. Uh, mm. Then the RAM, I got a new one like it's Clef uh, Bolt X, two, sixteen gig kit. Yeah, sixteen gig kit, two eight GB, uh, three thousand six hundred uh, hertz. SSD. The SSD, yes. Um, Samsung SSD. Uh, Samsung nine eight zero, not the Pro version, just the basic version. Uh, five hundred GB. M2 NVMe la. And I think finally is yeah, your... The most important thing. The case. The case thing. Yeah. I was hunting for the smallest possible ever casing. Because I, I want it to be quite compact. I don't want to waste a lot of space. I don't have space, much space in my desk anymore. So I got this uh, K30 casing from uh, SGPC. This is a Taobao brand la. Uh, I think it's 4 liter in volume. Okay. Super, super thin. La. So you cannot put a discrete graphic card here. Mm. Yeah. Mm. yeah. How much was the case before shipping? Okay, 120 running B. So, so, so that's 20, like 20 plus SVG. Wow, that's Just like, the casing only. Uh. That's damn cheap. That's cheaper than my... Cheap. Yeah. Okay, I won't, I won't say it's cheaper than my McDonald's meal. I don't eat that much <laughs> at McDonald's. <laughs> Okay. Uh, it's pretty solid. It's pretty it's full metal, uh quite solid actually. All the joints, everything, I think it's quite good. So it comes with a slightly maybe not that attractive yeah, acrylic panel. Yeah. But I think okay it's still quite decent. Yeah. We'll see how it goes later. <laughs> sure, maybe. sure. Yeah, and it has a USB 3.0 and USB C la, and a power button in front. Okay. I like it super slim. Uh. They have another version of this same 4 liter but just uh, wider and, and then you can put in the graphics card. Uh, that one you can put a graphic card mm. in. But I don't need that. That's why I like okay, this. Okay, okay. Yeah. So I, I got a package together with the PSU is 550 watt. Uh it's a what a flex, right? One U mm. PS Flex one U, I think. Yeah, yeah, one U. And then they even give in uh, ID cooling IS forty X uh cooler CPU. for the CPU. It's I think low profile enough like, to fit in this casing. At least okay. with, yeah, the total package of this like this right, it's five hundred twenty RMB, hundred twenty dollars, hundred twenty sing dollar. Mm -hmm. I think quite worth it. Yeah. Okay. So all in all, I think it's around, I counted uh, I think seven hundred dollars or maybe six hundred ninety plus. Okay. Yeah. So over budget like hundred. <laughs> my, okay, okay, my wife. Okay. My wife told me my wife the budget that my wife gave me is like five hundred eighty. <laughs> Then I justified with her, you know, it's a 4,000 series at a, at a bargain <laughs> price, you know. Yeah. Okay lah, excited to start. Yeah, let's go. Okay, okay, excited. let's do this. Yes. Come, Sensei, how shall we start? CPU first lah. CPU Your first lah. 5700. No, it's 4650. <laughs> you still remember how to do this? 
Uh, I think just need to position it correctly, lor, the, the arrow, right? Correct. Okay. Cool. Okay, good. Oh, then good, you can close good. that pin down. Hey, but you shouldn't try to touch the surface. Lah. Oh, is it? Static? Ah? Uh, it's not so much static. Your fingers will tend to leave a little bit of oil oh, sure. behind. Yeah. Okay la, if you yeah. close it down, we can always alcohol swab it one more time before we apply the thermal base. Let's oh. do the... We can do the SSD, SSD first, then, then the RAM, then you then the cooling fan. Wait, screwdriver? Oh yes! Uh, I've got... I've yes. got two sets of screwdrivers here, you can pick from, see which one you're interested to use. Better than you. This one, what is this? This is electronic screwdriver. Oh, of course you use that la! <laughs> this is the wild stick, it will spin. Nice. How do I use this? Uh, so you got two buttons there. You press one is uh, clockwise, counterclockwise lah. Oh, this one's true. Yeah, yeah. correct. Too big lah. <laughs> what the hell? Okay, okay, okay. Try this one. Okay, perfect. Nice. Nice. Effortless. <laughs> you should you should buy one wild stick too. I'll <laughs> put a link in the description below. <laughs> oh, so it's called wild stick. Yeah, it's a Xiaomi wild stick. How much is this? I bought mine for about thirty dollars actually. Very affordable. On. Yeah, so this is a thermal pad, is it? Yes, it is. Uh, is They've a... already peeled off the thing already. Oh, is it? He was using it previously. I think it's okay. Oh, I so thought you can just plant. I thought this one has a uh, wet. No, yeah. Normally we will see lah. It's one of those like scotch tape like thing lah. But you really took it off. I see. Okay. This one only goes in one way. Should be no issue. Okay. Magnetic, oh, right? Yeah. Okay, ram this side. Confirm right side? Yep, confirm. But then, um, it's just like that, right? Hmm. You can only go in one proper way. Lah. Perfect. Sweet. Okay, these are labeled AM4, so it should be these. Also, different mm. bracket for different processor. Right? Different socket. Lah. So, these are the AM4 socket. So, all the new Ryzen's are using AM4. I believe this will be Intel and this will be the older Ryzen. Oh, we actually haven't showed the cooling fan in detail, right? Oh yeah, that's good. Okay, so it's a very slim cooler. Yeah. Oh, okay. Got it. Can. A little bit more complicated than I thought. Uh, Wait, is it that really? Okay, uh, where's my other <laughs> screwdriver? <laughs> See, mm, it that's happens, good. Uh, that's normal, is it? Actually, I haven't charged it in like oh, half a year already. Bloody hell. <laughs> <laughs> this is why sometimes the classic traditional tools still yeah. work better. But that's why I have both. <laughs> good job. Okay, what should I do now? I never do okay, this before. It looks like if I'm following the instructions correctly, you'll be mounting the bracket onto the cooler first. Then you'll be screwing the screwing the cooler into onto the motherboard. So there is one rule in in, in this kind of heat sinks, right? If the heat sinks are this way, uh. Uh, usually they'll recommend it to not be inverted. So heat sinks should be upright this way. So let's say if you're putting your case up, uh -huh. then depending on the orientation of the motherboard, you still want your heat sinks to be like pointed down. Uh. So, so this is always at the direction of gravity. Yeah. It can be like that or like that, but they don't recommend it to be like this. Never opposite. Because of how the heat. Uh, I guess rises or something like that. So it's that. never opposite of gravity yeah. la. So if you look at your case, actually you're fine la. You can probably just do it something like that. It's a bit more straightforward. Yeah. Because in my case, actually my orientation is upside down. So that's why I 
you have to like think about it, but for yours it's just one third. This way, okay. okay. Yeah. And four. Nice. Let's do it. Okay, so what I want to do now is I want to pop this in so the four things go in, and hopefully when I flip it over, I'll just let it rest on the cooler. La. I think it should be okay. La. Oh shit. My timer is here at this critical junction. Okay. Normally, I don't do it too tight first. I try to tighten all four at the same time. Okay, so I guess we winded the cable around it. Yeah, but it's still quite long. Okay, la. what to do? Push straight forward and straight into it. It only goes in one direction, so. Yeah. All good. It's done. Take up the PSU first. Okay, so first thing actually, right, is IO shield. Oh. Which is that. Because yeah. once you forget that, you can't go back to it. True. Get this out of the way. So damn long with USB, you know. Yeah. Uh, I guess it's this. You can look at the board for reference, lah. Wait, wait, wait. Correct. Is that this, huh? Yes. Oh, the antenna is even lower. Which is good actually. Gets it out of the gets it out of oh, the, the view, okay. Yeah. Cool. This is some other casing I saw is on top. So we'll just pop it in. Hey, the other, hey, the other way around, okay. Hey, no no no. Yeah, the yeah this way. It will sort of snap, is it? It should snap in place. Perfect. No clip sound, but it's all in. Uh. Okay. What is my gut? Holy shit, it's tight. Damn tight. Okay. Okay. Uh, Mount it first. It's standing easier. Can you push in? Ten? Okay. Use strength though. <laughs> okay, this one okay, straightforward, it goes in one direction. The only problem but is the cable mesh is like shit. Can you, can you run up here like that? No, not long right now. No, I think it's fine. Yeah, nah, then we just call the cable tie, then we turn on already. Yes, it's almost time to turn on. Finally. Is it spinning? Yeah, it's so quiet. Mmm, it's not good. <laughs> oh wait, wait, because the other side is still blur. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> ah damn, it broke. Damn. <laughs> okay, la, okay, la.
Okay, let's put it on. I mean, for 20 bucks, no complain. <laughs> okay, okay, I guess this is alright. Not, not too bad. Yeah. Ta da! <laughs> Settings are low. Low, 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 low. low. It's really low. Default, everything went low. Yeah. Texture okay. quality high though. Uh, let's just let it play at whatever you recommend it. Uh. Exact. Just go for it, man. What did I change on? Uh? Press 1, 2, 3, drive. Oh. No. I got Katara. I got Katara. Oh, oh nice. This, this is a. Uh, yeah. There's no enemy la. How do I get uh, human? Do mission and kill stuff la. I mean this is like GTA la. You're in the open world la. Yeah, shoot a car. Oh, I can shoot people in. Nice! I'm not police after you. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. I <think> you are. <laughs> Whatever man. Just play... <laughs> oh no, the police will come. Whatever, I just change to a lower setting. It's... Cannot play la. 12 FPS. Divine, yes, die. There you go. Okay, this is now very good. So, how was your first PC build? Very, very satisfied. Initially, I was worried about the. the I think mainly I was really worried about the temperature. La. But upon testing, it seems like uh, it's okay. I think the idle is around 40 plus degree for the processor. And even more surprisingly, is the GPU. Uh, it, it, okay, like, it's integrated, like, I don't know how to measure the temperature, but when we are playing uh, Cyberpunk just now, okay, it runs at FPS 12 only, 12 FPS. Uh, the GPU utilization is at 99%, I think it's ramping up all the way, but the temp is like, around 50 plus uh, Celsius only. Like, so, hmm. that's pretty good, it won't fright my, my processor at least. What do you think about the case? This is Taobao K30. I think it's really worth it. Like. It's, 20 to 30 bucks, I think 30 bucks plus shipping. It's really solid. I think it's a, like you mentioned, it's a single piece of aluminium, uh, steel, I don't know. So it's, it's really, really solid. Uh. What else are uh, you got? USB C, you got USB 3.0 everywhere. Integrated Wi Fi. That one is motherboard. Uh. Oh, yeah, true. Uh. But yeah. overall, it's very decent, very decent whole package. Uh, In terms of performance, like your boot up times, all that, all very, very, very satisfying. Yeah, quite insane. Yeah. I think the boot up time is like 5 seconds. It's, hmm. it's within 10 seconds, la, I mean, without anything installed. La. I'm not going to do heavy gaming, la, so it's, gonna it's really, really, online. yeah, it's really just super enough for me. La. Yeah, so uh, it's it's really, another thing is really compact. La. So, yeah, time to get out of your house. La. <laughs> We've been doing since what? Since 6? Uh, okay, la, we had dinner. You played a bit of games in the middle of the thing. Yeah. Alright, I think it's fine. And we spent like what? The half an hour downloading Cyberpunk? Yeah, it's like almost 1 a.m. right now. Yeah. Okay, let's shut Call this down. Let's yes, shut this down. Although, to be fair, with a slightly bigger backpack, you can even do a proper discreet backpack. No, I don't think so. I think it's just nice already. <laughs> nice. I can go to my friend's house for a land party. <laughs> hey, thanks, bye. Alright, alright. Bye. I'm gonna drive a 3080 frame to my case. Hey! Hey!